Uh, today you have myself, James Hiller, uh, who's one of the account executives here in London, and my colleague Joel, who is one of our solutions engineers from New York, who are going to be running the demonstration. Uh, what we'll do is start off with is just a short introduction as to who Onfido are, uh, who we work with, what we do, and then Joel will be taking uh, the entire group through a series of live product demos, which will include a web demo, a live um, mobile demo, and then a insight into the uh, the way the checks are processed and the dashboard in the back end. Before we get going, um, Onfido uh, has been operating for around about six and a half years now. We are a identity verification solution. Uh, we operate in 195 different countries globally, and we work with over 1,500 businesses. Uh, so just a, an insight into some of the um, the investors uh, that we partner with, people such as Salesforce Ventures, uh, Microsoft Ventures, um, and Wellington Partners, who have all invested in Onfido in the last uh, year and a half, two years, uh, to kind of help establish the business and open up some doors in some of the financial services, gaming, car hire, and uh, shared economy spaces that we now mainly operate within. Trusted by, as I said, over 1,500 businesses, we've been heavily financial services focused uh, for quite some time, and the product has been developed as such. And an example of some of the clients we work with at the bottom there, people such as Remitly, Revolut, LendInvest, and GoCarthis, who are becoming more and more household names. Just a little bit more about some of the, the businesses, as I say, heavily financial services focused. Um, we've also started uh, seeing a lot of synergy with other markets such as uh, the crypto space, with the game, gaming market, with car hire. We act as a uh, as trusted source of verification of personal uh, data and personal identities for companies all over the world who are looking to provide a quick, easy, seamless um, journey for their customers to be able to verify their identity online in seconds, in minutes, uh, so that they can gain access to services and products uh, that these different businesses offer. So why do we exist? Um, very much uh, because our online identity verification is broken. Uh, for those attending today, I'm sure uh, you know there are people that will remember walking into uh, you know a bank to open up their first bank account, uh, or going through kind of the process when you go to hire a car, and uh, you kind of sit there while someone checks your documents, and it kind of delays everything, and it's become, become sort of quite cumbersome and uh, and actually disjointed. And more and more, with uh, sort of a, a younger generation coming through, that expectation of wanting everything to be done instantly, having smartphones to be able to prove their identity has become more common. So Onfido exists to allow those businesses to uh, essentially to fix that problem and to be able to quickly verify their customer's identity online using their smartphones, using a web journey by allowing the customer to provide government issued uh, identity documentation to say this is legally who I am and then to couple with that a facial verification to say that not only is that my document that I am the true owner and holder of that document and what we'll be showing you today hopefully is exactly how easy and quickly Onfido can help you uh, achieve those goals. Um, I'll, I'll let uh, Joel go into this more detail, but just to sort of inform everyone, Onfido is now available on both the App Store and on the Google Play Store, and it is free to download and free to use. You'll notice that if and when you download the app, you'll have the, the sort of benefit of the experience. You'll be able to go through what is a kind of a regular customer journey and actually see what it would be like to go through that journey, but actually it won't be connected to any kind of, um, any kind of account in the back end. So purely from an experience perspective, and as I say, I will show this in more detail, you'll be able to download that app, go through it yourself, and really sort of understand just how easy and fun it can be to actually go through an identity verification journey. So this is Joel, who will now run you through a series of demonstrations showing you exactly how um, the, the product works. Thank you, James. Um, so before I begin my demo, um, just a little bit background. Um, so the Onfido solution is, is a, a cloud service. Uh, we expose a RESTful API for easy integration into our backend. So, for example, if you had an existing uh, image of a document, you can certainly hit our API directly, upload that, and request a check. Now, that being said, uh, we also have a set of SDKs, or capture SDKs, um, that you can easily integrate both in, say, if you have an existing mobile application, a native app, like on iOS or an Android, we have an SDK um, that you can easily integrate into that. 
as well as a web SDK or a JavaScript SDK that you can integrate into more of a browser flow, right? So nothing is installed, but it's, everything is initiated through the browser uh, and the capture goes through the, the browser base. And then those are the two different types of uh, SDKs that we provide. And I'll walk you through each of those as well as the kind of d differentiators and why we've uh, developed these SDKs. So the first one I wanna show you is our um, mobile SDK. Right, and as uh, James mentioned, um, you can actually download the sample application from the uh, App Store. So if you're on iOS, you can go to the Apple App Store, um, search for Onfido, and you can download this exact application um, uh, from that st from the store. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the app. Imagine, if you will, if this was existing uh, ed ex uh, integrated to your existing mobile app, and you can begin the verification. Uh, I'm going to just enter in a random first name, last name, just for the sake of the demo. Now it's gonna walk me through the capture so I can begin the capture process. Um, we support over 4,000 documents globally, right? So um, if you check on our website, we do have a list of all the uh, regions and the documents that we support for each region. Uh, for the sake of this demo, I have a sample New York State driver's license. So it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, a sample license, so it's not a true uh, uh, New York State license. So I'm gonna go ahead and say like driver's license, United States. And now I'm gonna go through the capture process. So as you can see, um, you initially saw that we're, uh, we're actually providing real-time feedback to the end user where we're checking for glare, right? In addition to that, for the US uh, state driver's license, we actually check if, if it's a PDF 417 barcode. So that's why you see this, uh, this notification that it uh, that's, must be clear. Uh, for the sake of the demo, I'm gonna go ahead and move forward. So for the, for the SDKs, we're doing glare, edge detection, um, blur, um, as well as barcode detection, right? So those, all of those uh, kind of quality checks that we're providing in real time allow, ensures that you're getting the highest quality image on first capture. Next, I'm gonna, uh, it's gonna ask me to uh, uh, submit a selfie video. Um, and this is our, our more robust facial matching with liveness um, uh, feature. Um, you can certainly tailor this to the risk profile of the individual, the risk profile of the transaction. So for example, if you would like to only do a document check, you can certainly do that. But say for a more higher risk type of transaction, you may wanna choose document and selfie. So you can certainly tailor it to your business case. Um, now I'm gonna go through the selfie. Seven o two. All right, so what you saw there, not only are we doing a matching of the face, right? So we're capturing a, an image of the face uh, from the video stream. Uh, we're matching that from the extracted image from the document, so the ID document after we verify that it's uh, the, the document. Um, we're also um, asking the end user to complete a set of challenges, a randomized set of head movements, whether it's left or right, looking over your left or right shoulder, um, reading aloud a set of digits that are randomized as well. Um, as well as texture analysis. So uh, effectively, we're doing four types of, we have four types of algorithms working in unison to confirm that not only does the face match, uh, but it's also the live person that's, uh, that's being presented on the screen, All right? Um, next, I wanna show you um, our second variant, and this is our web flow. Um, so our web flow, and many of our customers choose to use the web flow, especially when we're talking about digital onboarding and ID verification on during that first encounter, uh, where many cases your end user will be interacting with your website, um, opening an account, um, you know, it's typically that first initial onboarding. Um, and so imagine, if you will, if this is embedded into your existing website, um, you can certainly kick off the, uh, the SDK and the capture flow um, in the, in the browser-based uh, kind of flow. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk through that um, as well. So I'm gonna verify my identity. Again, I have the ability to select what type of document I wanna submit. I'll run through this really quick since you've seen it uh, from the native app, but um, now it's gonna ask me to uh, submit my license, right? So two things here that are a little bit different. One is we have the ability to upload the license from directly from my, la my computer. Um, but initially, when we initially rolled this out, uh, what we found early on was that um, how many of us actually have an image front and back of my driver's license sitting on my desktop? So typically, um, there's 
three or four added steps that are required just so that I can upload this image. I'd have to go scan my document, um, either take a picture with my phone, um, and then email it to myself or transfer it to my desktop and then upload. Um, so for, for a user experience that's quite cumbersome, um, what we've added is uh, uh, what we've added is the option to um, use uh, this what we call our cross device flow or leverage the browser on your mobile device. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. Uh, I can uh, enter in my mobile number. Send that link to my phone. Now it's asking me to check my mobile device. So I'll go back to my mobile device. And I can see that there is a text message, right? So I open up that text message, and I click on the link. And now it's opening up that same browser capture flow on my Safari browser, right? So nothing is installed. It's all browser-based interaction. So again, I'm going to go through that same uh, capture flow, much more um, streamlined. Capture the front of the document, confirm it is the document. Um, then it's going to ask me to take a picture of the back as well. Right. Confirm that. As you can see, uh, we actually still provide that kind of glare detection. So there is there a glare on the document. Um, I, for the sake of the demo, I'm going to go ahead and move forward. Next, it's going to ask me to take a picture of my face. So this is the other variant, right? So the more robust facial check is the facial matching and the with liveness. Um, this one is a static selfie, where I'm just going to ask, be asked to st uh, take snap a picture. Right, confirm that. And again, everything is uh, uploaded directly to our service. And then I'll go back to my screen. Um, I should see that updated. That great. Everything's uh, everything's been submitted, and then I can move forward. Right. Um, so our SDKs aid in the capture, um, provide real time feedback and really streamlines that process of, uh, of uh, uh, capturing a, a document and a facial image. And it really ensures or mitigates uh, user drop off uh, during that capture flow. Next, I want to show you uh, the actual checks, how it's been processed on our back end dashboard. Um, so all our customers have their own uh, dedicated or, or tenant or a dashboard that they can easily log into uh, from our website. So I'll go ahead and log into mine. So as I log in, I can see a summary of all the checks that have taken place in my uh, through my dashboard, and I can view the checks. Right. So this is the last check that I've submitted. Um, it's actually before I go into that, um, there's a top level result which shows that it's a consider. So that means that it's being flagged for some reason. Um, so I can drill down, and now I can see the two types of checks that I submitted. I did a document report. Right. I submitted a, a document, and then I did a, video, uh, a facial similarity. Um, so I'll go to the one that's uh, that's been flagged as suspected, which is correctly suspected since it's a sample New York State driver's license. Um, a lot of folks, what they do, uh, you know, as far as our competitors, they do a lot of uh, they they either do uh, OC, they do an OCR with some sort of data consistency check, consistency check, let's say the back bar, back of the barcode, um, and then they say that that's a valid document. We do that as well as more, right? So we can configure the uh, system to. Um, one, we're checking for age validation, right? So for your specific use case, you can say, um, I will only, I, I'd like to flag anyone that's under 21, so we can check for that. Um, for, we do have our own proprietary compromised document database that we continue to grow. Um, this is a database that we uh, use, uh, well, we, uh, we populate with uh, images that we've uh, crawled the internet for, right? So any uh, sample documents, fraudulent documents that we've identified, um, we'll add that to our uncompromised document database and we'll do a one-to-end match of any document that you send across. We are doing data validation. Uh, for example, check some check digits for an MRZ of a passport. Uh, is, the, is the document, can the document be possibly expired? In addition to that, we are doing a, a host of a, a load of uh, other fraud checks uh, for visual authenticity. Um, we're checking for key security features on the document, landmarks uh, for that spe specific document type, that specific version. Does the template match that of a, like for example, of New York State driver's license, which is correctly flagged? 
we're doing font anomaly detection, right? Um, is the font consistent for that particular document for that particular version? Um, is the original document present or is it a photocopy of that document? Um, we're checking for digital tampering, JPEG compression analysis, right? It can, it, uh, where a case where somebody may overlay a photo of an image of a face on top of another document. Um, so we are checking for that, as well as is the face uh, visible? Can we detect a face on that document? Um, in, in addition, we're checking, uh, we're doing data comparison checks, um, image integrity. Um, so we continue to add to this, um, to, the, to these different types of checks, but these are the granular breakdowns and the checks that, that we go through for every document, document that you submit. And, and we provide that as well, all through our API. So that is all available through our API. Now going through our facial similarity check, um, we, we do a, a match against, the, a how closely matches against the, the image that's been extracted from the document. Um, this score is a 0 0.81, which is, correctly, which is correct because it is my image on the document, though it is a fraudulent document. Um, the score is from zero to one, um, and we have a, a threshold setting that anything above that will, uh, you know, will, will, will be considered a face, facial match. Um, we're also checking if the face is uh, image integrity, right? Is the face visible in the actual submitted do uh, uh, image? Um, and then in addition, since I did the liveness detection, uh, we're checking if the person completed, uh, you know, the, the liveness challenge of had it moving their head. Um, as well as uh, checking if, if there's any spoofing detected, right? If there was somebody presented an image of uh, a picture of a picture in front of the screen. So we are doing checking for that as well. Okay, um, so that concludes my demo. Thank you very much, Joel. Uh, what Joel has just gone through there is obviously a couple of different journeys. And just to try and um, sort of position those, um, obviously for those who have a existing web journey, the uh, JavaScript SDK that Joel demoed can be integrated into that customer registration or that customer journey flow. So at a certain point during the journey, a customer can be requested to uh, provide documentation to prove their identity and obviously then provide a facial similarity uh, photo or video uh, in order to support that document. So what would happen at that point is that that essentially is going directly to Onfido. We are providing a response to you, to the customer, to the client, um, and then you in turn can then provide a response to your customer. So that journey would kind of be part of that existing flow. They don't need to download the Onfido app. They don't need to visit Onfido. It's all part of your existing journey. And essentially what we're doing is just providing you with the kind of mechanism to capture those images very quickly, very efficiently, and with that kind of feedback that Joel um, brilliantly demonstrated in terms of the feedback on whether the image has glare or blur or anything like that that might affect our ability to provide a response on the image. As soon as that response is generated, Obviously, we can then inform you so that you can then make a decision as to whether or not that person can continue and, you know, essentially conduct business with you, be that open an account, rent a vehicle or any other manner of services. Um, so the uh, web to SDK or the JavaScript SDK obviously works brilliantly across multiple browsers and on, on the phone. And we have um, SDKs deliberately for iOS and Android if that registration flow is part of uh, the app that you exist, that you already have and you want to incorporate that into, um, into the uh, customer onboarding journey there. This kind of leaves it for me to say thank you ever so much for everybody who's attended today. We obviously hope that you found that useful and interesting, and we very much look forward to, uh, to picking up the conversation again with you very shortly. Have a great rest of the day.